Welcome to the Paradise Falls Community Report. Today's weather, clear skies, calm waters, another perfect day in Paradise Falls. You're gonna get us in trouble. I didn't do anything. It's blood! Well, it's not my blood. Sarah Braga. The hell's her purse doing in the middle of the woods? Do you think she's okay? What the f should I know? Look at this! It's money. <laughs> okay, you keep the purse, I'm keeping this. I'm serious, it's not even ours! Roxy, where are you going? To the police! It's no big deal! Look, it is a big deal! My aunt's a town cop. I'm just gonna go show her what we found. Okay, okay. You do that, all right? You hand over the purse, but after that, listen to me. After that, me and you, we go somewhere. Okay, okay. What do you say to New York City? What are you talking about? With the money. I'm not saying you can't tell your aunt. Just don't tell her everything. I suppose the most important thing is that she knows about the purse. <laughs> money is not the issue. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you love me? Yes. No matter what I do, it looks like a duck. What's it supposed to look like? A no balloon. It looks like a big lump of duck. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't want it to be fine. I want it to be great. I want people to look at that loon and think, Billy, Hunter. You're gonna get clay all over me. Oh, is that a challenge? Don't you have a deadline? I'm on break, and you know I love it when you play with your gun. I have to get this done. Right now, are we expecting a crime wave to hit Paradise Falls? It could happen. I don't think so. Now, in terms of cheekbones, you have to angle it, but not too much, just accents. Got donuts. Hey, look at you. Oh, you must be Nick's lady friend, right? This is Jessica. Oh. Jessica, have you had a chance to meet Francis? No, not yet. I, we've just seen each other around. Hello. Hi, oh, you know what? I guess I, I, I should, you know, congratulate you and Nick. Nick's nice. Grandfather can burn in hell. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna leave you these free samples. Um, use them at your own pace, okay? I have to go anyway. It's been nice to meet you. <clears throat> Francis, you shouldn't say things like that. Somebody should warn that girl what she's getting into. Just leave her alone. What did you get? Well, you know what? He didn't leave Sarah alone. I know that for a fact. Lemon and blueberry. And you know what? Look at her. He's not going to leave her alone either. Me, you don't know that. Oh, I do. Oh, is this their wedding dress? Oh, it's not fancy enough for the mayor. Mm -mm. Well, the mayor doesn't have to wear it. So, um, did Big Sis show up yet? No, she hasn't. Are you sure it was Yvonne you saw this morning? Not somebody else. Oh, it was Vonnie. Plain as day. Plain as that dress. You know, I could arrest you for detaining an officer. Does that mean we could use the handcuffs? Be there in a sec. 
Put your pants on. Hi. Hi. Uh, I think you should see this. Hi, George. Glad you could make it. Sit down. I'm sorry, it's so late. Everybody's gone home. Yeah, I see that. Hey, listen, you wanna you wanna drink? I got some scotch here. Look, man, I don't have a lot of time. You call me in here. What do you want? First, I'm gonna have a little drink. You know where I get this scotch? This guy from Toronto. Deals in properties like you. He wants to open a bar, needs a license. I don't know this guy, we're not friends like you and me are. But once a month, he sends me a case of scotch. So I guess he gets his license, huh? I don't know about that. I don't know how your folks did business, but here in Paradise Falls, a case of scotch goes a long way. Mm. Listen, you want a cigar? No. Pete, you got something to say, why don't you just say it? You know, George, you're going to give yourself a heart attack before you're 50. That's about the Lakeview properties, isn't it? Yes, it is. And you were going to fast track it with the council, so you said. Oh, well, that's right, but uh, some circumstances have arisen. Now, I talked to them like you, you asked me, but uh, there's been some complications. Complications? Uh-huh. What kind of complications? Well, now, I'm going to get to that. You sure you wouldn't like a drink? I just met Francis. Local color. When I was a kid, we used to call her crazy lady. Don't worry about her, she's all talk. I don't want her talking about me. <laughs> well, we, well, you gotta remember the rules about living in a small town. Number one, you know everybody. Number two, they know you. Number three, everybody talks about everybody else. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to work a little harder to win everyone over. Grandpa likes you. You think? Very much. Well, that's one down. 999 to go. <laughs> so did you finish your book? The one I'm reading? Ha ha, the one you're writing. <laughs> you know, I could throw you in this water right now. Yes, but then I wouldn't marry you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Yvonne. How have you been, Rose? Good. I've been good. I like your makeup. Very professional. Thank you. You look good, too. Retro. What can I say? So many things have changed. Except around here, of course. So shall we go inside, or do you want to just wrestle in the street? Stuff's so out, it's almost in. Yvonne, I haven't seen you in 14 years. I'm assuming you didn't come back just to be bitchy and talk about fashion. Don't worry. I can do both. In some ways, I'm surprised you're still here in Paradise Falls. Why would that surprise you? You're not that boring, are you? What did you do? Take all the money and put it in sensible GICs? What are you talking about? I want what's coming to me. And don't pretend our dear father didn't leave me anything. Even he can't be that much of a bastard. Well, maybe you know what you're talking about, but I certainly don't. But you can ask him yourself if you want. What do you mean, ask him? He's dead. I'm sorry to be the one to disappoint you, Yvonne. But our father's very much alive. your summer going okay when did you start college not until january i got a late acceptance listen when uh, when you go there 
don't get yourself locked down to one person. Play the field, that's what I did. I heard that. So you just found the person in the woods? Yeah, I was just walking by myself, looked down, and there it was. Well, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out whose it is. Sarah Bragg has already looked inside. I brought it over because I knew she was out of town. Billy, did Frances mention to you Sarah was going out of town? <sighs> She's probably off on some bender. Not without her purse. Mind you, there's... There's no money in here. Maybe she got robbed. This looks like blood. I thought so, too. I was hoping I was wrong. So what you're saying to me is that Daddy's not dead. No, not yet he's not. Is instant coffee okay? As long as I don't have to drink it. Do people actually buy these clothes? What is this, gopher? It's Fox. Rose, honey, this was never a Fox. Here's your coffee. So explain this to me. All this time I'm thinking Daddy's dead and he's really fine. Was he even sick? Yes, he was sick. He's just not sick anymore. So why did you send me a letter three months ago saying he was on his deathbed? Because he was in the hospital and I was worried. I wrote you that Daddy was ill. On his deathbed is what you wrote. What else am I supposed to think? Well, I am sorry to be the one to break the good news to you, Yvonne. But our father is very much alive. And I know this because I was the one who nursed him back to health. Here we go. Good old Saint Rose, patron saint of doormats. Well, I guess you're just going to have to wait a little longer to get your hands on Daddy's money. But what I want to know, Yvonne, is if you got my letter three months ago, what took you so long to come home? Where have you been? We haven't gotten so much as a Christmas card from you in over two years. Well, I'm here now, and that's what counts. There's something you don't see in the city. Look at those stars. If you're in the city, you don't need to see stars. I suppose. But that's one of the things I always miss about Paradise Falls when I'm not here. I promise you, wherever we go, there'll be stars. <laughs> Is that from a movie? No, I was being romantic. Oh, okay. <laughs> God, I hate it when you do that. Do what? Comment on what I say like I was dumb. Hey, I didn't do that. You're right. Wherever we go, there will be stars. Probably right up there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, I have something to tell you. What? I was talking to my grandpa this morning, and uh, he has a surprise for us. He wants to treat us to a big, splashy wedding. Mm, that's nice of him. Well, not so nice. He wants to parade us around town, make us part of the mayor's wedding slash political campaign. Mm. Still, it'll be fun for us. Well, he wants to do it on the second of next month. That's that's two weeks away. Mm, two weeks? Is that possible? We don't know the mayor. He can really make things move, but uh, I really want to wait for my mom to get back. And tell him to hold off. Mm, right. You may as well talk to a wall. Mm. When we get married, you're gonna have to start listening to me and not your grandpa. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> now give us a kiss. Yes, sir. Mm. Billy, she's leaving. Get a move on. You know what, it's okay. I don't need a ride. It's no trouble. It's too late for you to be walking home alone. Oh, I do it all the time. Well, you shouldn't. Your mom's going to be worried about you. Look, it's no big deal. I'm just going to go. I'll be fine. You're going to meet me tomorrow morning at 10 at the tea house. You're going to be there. I'll be there. Billy, hurry up! Don't be late, because I want you to show me where you found the purse. Okay. I had to put a long sleeve shirt on. You don't want me to be sushi for mosquitoes. Look, really, uh, I'm going to be fine. I'm not going home. I'm going to go meet a friend. I'll be fine. Don't be worry. careful and stick to the roads, okay? Okay. You should have insisted. Well, you heard her. She didn't want to lift. 
And besides, what's going to happen to Paradise Falls? The same thing that happened to Sarah. He just said that the council wouldn't let me sever the Lakeview property. The only reason why I bought it was so that I could split it and build four cottages on it. And you know that I'm not going to make any money on one f***ing cottage. Now, I didn't say they wouldn't let you do it. I said they're having doubts about letting you do it. And you can't blame them, George. You know, you're not from around here. My family's lived here for over 20 years, and you know that. <laughs> well, in Paradise Falls, that's nothing. You know, they, uh, they don't like outsiders carving up the lakefront. I mean, there has to be certain standards maintained. Now you give me some time and uh, I'll see what I can do. What am I supposed to do while I'm waiting? I've got construction crews that are waiting to start work. Well, patience, George. I got a situation of my own. My uh, grandson's getting married and uh, I gotta find a place for him and his pretty little bride. Frank, if you just wanted a place, why didn't you come to me? Well, that's what I'm doing, isn't it? No, he's my only grandson, and I need him someplace uh, special. Uh, maybe with a lake view. What do you say, George? Think there'd be any place we could get uh, dirt cheap? So, listen, thanks for coming by. I know Nick is going to be very surprised by your generous offer. I didn't promise you anything. I said I'd think about it. You do that. Nice doing business with you. Again. Why don't you tell her? Tell who? Your aunt about the purse. Did you tell her about the money? No. Good girl. I don't like lying to her. It's only one little itty bitty lie. It doesn't really make a difference. She gets the purse and we get a little spending money. That's fun. Mm. 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 This, no, this place gives me the creeps. Let's go back to my place. Sounds bad. <laughs> Actually, have the place to ourselves. Yeah, I guess the mayor's working late tonight. Mm -hmm. That's it. From now on, all wedding talk is banned for at least an hour. <laughs> I don't want to waste any time. Get over here and give me a kiss. Do you call that a kiss? That's not a kiss. This is a kiss. Finally made it home. 
Mom, go inside. I'll be there in a sec. I have one thing to say to you, and I'm going to make it very simple. So tomorrow, Rock. Stay. Stay away from my girl. Common. That's what you are. You see that dirt on the ground? Me? Look at yourself, lady. You're drunk. I know all about you, Mansfield. I see things. I write them down. <laughs> You're crazy. I'm, I'm sorry, Rox, but your mom's a f***ing loon. <laughs> Why do you always do that? Why do you always embarrass me like that? What? That, that, that boy is nothing. He's not like you. You're gonna get out of here. Don't hang back with the garbage, Angel. Oh, I can't stand you sometimes. Ah, oh, I can't wait to get out of this town. Someday when you have children, 